Yeah, it's time to get a bit sentimental here. I have a lady by the name Lillian. That's her stage name. Otherwise, uh, her real names are Lillian Musimbi. Ragui. Ragui. Yeah. She's into those love songs. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's start by listening to this one called Influence of Love. Lydia, welcome to the program. Thank you. What about Influence of Love, the song you've just listened to? Well, Influence of Love, it's a song I wrote to show how women totally fall in love and forget themselves. They totally forget that they have a life, they have dreams of their own, they totally focus on the man. And um, it just a lady being aware of the fact that she falls in love madly head over heels and mm -hmm. yeah and for a period there not not for a very long time for like uh, the first four months or three there's nothing else going on in their world apart from this one that they've fallen for. About the vice versa, um, men I, also do the same. I, I don't know exactly if <laughs> men do the same. I was just talking from a woman's point of view, okay. but I kind of think that men kind of have the same, although theirs doesn't last as long as women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. all your songs, they touch on love. They touch on love. And next is Niache. Yes. Is it possible to talk about Niache? Are yeah. these real experiences? Or? I do derive my inspiration from real 
experiences, not necessarily my experiences, but experiences from myself, from my friends, from topics that people talk about in the radio, but mostly things that people can associate with mm. derive my inspiration from there. So when I wrote Niache, it's how people try to change each other when they fall in love. Like you'll see a woman saying, I don't like those friends of yours. Uh, you hear most men saying, my wife doesn't like my friends and she doesn't want me to hang out with my friends anymore. Or, Reason. Um, because probably they feel, women feel maybe like the friends are making their husbands irresponsible or something. But I have had a lot of that growing up and even as an adult. And also some men will probably tell you to stop wearing trousers or stop behaving in a certain way. And um, just jealousy. jealousy or just really trying to change each other. Mm. So when I wrote Niache, I was just saying that just let me be as I am. Mm. Don't try to change me in the name of love. Mm. Yeah. Don't try to change me in the name of love. Okay, let's yeah. listen to that track. It's called Niache. <laughs> Well, your album is it yet released or no we are hoping to yeah we are, we are still compiling it we so far we have four songs we want you to read like six or eight before uh, the title of the album it. is man of, of my man. own yes <laughs> what about this man Oh, Man of My Own. Uh, Man of My Own was a song I wrote. It was actually like m the song that made me want to write music and to do, to actually now like go out and do music. It's from a personal experience and um, it's just a song for a woman generally who wants to settle down and they're tired of being hit on by this kind of 
all sorts of men. You know, like when you're a single lady, you will meet so many kinds of men. There will be young ones and they will all have excuses not to settle down. Sugar daddies. Sugar daddies, yes, precisely. In fact, this song touches on all sides. Married men, young men, the kind of excuses that they give not to settle down. And so I just said, I want a man of my own. You say you love me so much And think of life without me But you got a wife at home She can think of life without you down to Lilian. Yes. Who is this Lilian? Other names are Lilian who? Musimbi Ragwe. Well, Lilian Musimbi Ragwe, she's first of all a lady born and raised in Kenya. She's Luya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, I've actually been raised in Kakamega. Mm-hmm. I went to a primary school there. Um, How come you don't have that accent? I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, maybe it's because my parents and even my grandparents were very keen on speaking English. Mm -hmm. So we spoke English all the time. Because if it's not the disc at school, it's the disc at, it's punishment at home for not speaking English. Musically. Musically. I started singing. In in church as usual. Precisely. I did did start singing in church. But you decided not to go the Christian way. You decided to go the... (laughs) <laughs> when you put it like that, you make me sound like someone who doesn't have faith in God. <laughs> no, of course. But I decided not to do gospel because I'm very sentimental. Mm. And I'm also very spontaneous and mm. I love to have a lot of fun. Outgoing. The gospel, I'm very outgoing, precisely. Mm. The gospel, Jonah, puts a lot of burden on one. Hmm? 
to me, it puts a lot of responsibility what do you mean? in terms of expectation from the people. They I'm, expect you to be? I feel like I might be expected to live in a certain way and behave dress, in, dress a certain in a certain way, way and dress in a certain way, which will put me at a very hypocritical point. Mm. And I don't want that. Love is a topic that everyone can relate with. Whether you're born again, whether you are not born again, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian. Mm. And so I chose love because I don't want that burden that comes along with the okay. gospel journey. <laughs> Inspirations to get it from and who would you have loved to be one day as an artist? Well, growing up, Whitney Houston majorly was my still is even mm, mm, after she's dead mm. she still is my inspiration because for me vocal abilities and vocal performance is very very important okay. so i try i'm not perfect yet but i really really try to make my vocal ability really amazing were well, you trained to do that yeah when i realized that i really want to sing uh seriously and professionally last year i took voice classes with helen tawali Hmm. Yeah, so it really helped. Helen Mtawali is like the biggest voice coach in Kenya, hmm. and uh, she's uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's a lecturer of music at, at Daystar University, yeah. and she's really really good actually. Yeah, and I she has yeah, uh, with the weird yeah, green yeah, eyes. Yeah, 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 that's Helen Mtawali. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now, what are your future plans now? That you almost you've not even released this album. Man. I have so Maybe somebody is just listening and is so interested in getting a copy. I mean, when do you expect this album out? Well, the singles are out. The singles? Yeah, the singles are we, out. We, we feature, today we played Man of My Own, Influence of Love, Niachi, and we are yet to play Twisted Love. Mm -hmm. So they can get the singles where and how. Wow. They're not in stores yet, yet. for sale, but they are playing some... YouTube? Yeah, they're on YouTube, definitely. They are on YouTube. Yeah, they go the for. video clips the video clips for the Man of My Own and Influence of Love are on YouTube. How do they get to the YouTube? My producer works his magic and Who is your producer? C Ned. C Ned. Yes, C Ned. Doesn't sound Kenya. The Nigerian guy you mentioned earlier. Uh -huh. Well that's He's my Nigerian. producer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get the music through C Ned, not you as Lillian. Uh, sure, you, you can get them through me and you can get them through him, so, but mostly through him. He knows how to do all these things. All right, his contacts. In well, case somebody also would like to know, to know to him. Produce, well, so. His email address would be cnedmusic at gmail.com. What's the spelling of CNED? C, letter C, and then N E D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, CNED Music. Uh, where is he based? Com. He's based here in Kenya in Nairobi, South B. Well, thanks so much for getting the time. And maybe the last song is Twisted Love. Mm -hmm. Why is it twisted? Well, Twisted Love is all about the expectations of love. And also, it's actually more about the way love turns out mm. eventually. People have all this fairy tale expectation of love. Mm. But then when you get in there, it's not always as you expect. As you expect. Yeah. And so this Twisted Love is all about this woman who loves this man totally. And um, he doesn't doesn't deserve her to say the least. <laughs> uh, but I didn't. I, I don't know why you you chose on Whitney and not even a Kenyan female artist. As an, well, Kenyan. Kenyan. No, 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 no. They are not up to standard. No, 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 no. I will not say that. Mm. But I will say in Kenya, my inspiration is mostly from Lydia Bura, Achienga Bura. A Chienga Bura, her vocals are just from out of this world. Because I, I mentioned her? No, no, no. I was going to say her, <laughs> and then you said her before me. Mm. Her and Helen Tawali mm -hmm. and um, Atemi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Atemi. They have very wonderful vocal abilities, and for me, that is key. In terms of entertaining, I would do Nameless and Isa. And those, Red Sun. And No, no, no. Nameless and Isa. Okay, is thank special. you so much, Lillian. <laughs> Twisted Love. Sema